You got me sleeping in my makeup Ruining your pillowcases Never wanna wake up Too lazy to tie my laces I've been hiding lollipops Inside my fanny pack I've been getting Hello Sweet Babe! Welcome back to another Sweetest Vlog My name is Ali. if you are new here I am very girly, shabby chic, Victorian, little cottage core just like a little bit of everything that's girly. I love making vlogs, I love making these kind of videos. I put out two videos a week, so if you are interested, hit the subscribe button, it helps me out. I'd love to have you part of the family. So I have skincare, beauty, and clothing items to share with you, so let's just dive right into it. This is my latest obsession. I am obsessed with this scent, Pink Sugar. I wore this back in high school and keep in mind high school was over 10 years ago for me so I like I found this in Marshall's this one and I was like oh my god this is so nostalgic this brings me back like this is actually the scent I've been looking for but I didn't know I was looking for this so I wanted a sweet smell that when I walk by people are like oh my god she smells like sugar she smells like cotton candy and I couldn't find it and then I randomly saw this in Marshall's and I was like this is it. This is what I've been looking for. And I like knew about this scent, but I didn't really know it was still a thing. Like it was a thing back then. And I discovered the scent through Vanessa Hudgens. I was reading like a T, not a TMZ. It was like a tiger mist or, you know, those old ass like magazines when you were like a teen and it was all the gossip, all the Zac Efron, Vanessa Hudgens, High School Musical. She said that she wore this pink sugar perfume and I was like, I have to wear it. So of course, I got obsessed with it, so I bought this from Marshalls. I'm all out. I need to go buy another one because I'm that obsessed. And then at Nordstrom Rack, I found these two, and I didn't even know these existed. I'm almost out of this as well. This is like the, uh, the body shimmer, so this is the perfume, but in body shimmer form, so it's just a rollerball. And you look like a glowing, sparkling sugar angel when you wear this. Like, I put this all over my arms, all over my chest, and I am feeling like my best self. I am feeling like my true, authentic, pink sugary cupcake self. And it's the best thing ever. And also, okay, so I'm very, very, very picky about lotion because I don't like when lotion makes me feel either like I'm, um, I have like a, a layer over my skin and it's hard to breathe or it's sticky. I don't mean to hate but Bath & Body Works, I love their candles, but I can't do their lotion because they're so thick and you can like just smell the scent all day and it becomes really overwhelming for me. This is so much different and I'm like, was really pleasantly surprised because I figured it'd be kind of like that. Like, I just didn't think it would be that very good for the skin, but I am almost out of it. And I can tell you that it is, it goes on so light and so creamy and it just has like a hint, just a hint of like the pink sugar but it's so moisturizing and it's just like a hint just a hint of the sugar and it's it's perfect it's not overwhelming it's so soothing on the skin i can't say enough good things about it like i'm obsessed like i i need to go out and get more because like i like i'm obsessed so that is the first obsession okay so let's get into skincare i am like really weird about skincare i kind of think skincare is kind of like a sh like a sham or a scam not to say that you don't need a skincare routine. I just think that like how many other ingredients do you need or how many of these skincare lines are so different? I swear it's just like one ingredient or like, you know, a couple ingredients that make up a skincare line and people just want different like packaging and aesthetics and like there's so many options out there now. It's such a trendy thing skincare that I'm like, okay, I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just want a an affordable skincare that I can use that doesn't have to break the bank and has good ass ingredients in it, you know? So I did so much research and it's so funny because I didn't even know that I love this brand because my face mask that I always use is also this brand and it is the I Do Care. I found this on Amazon and it had the best reviews. Um, this is all about like vitamin C, gel and cream. This is a lip mask and a serum. And I kid you not, I saw a difference the next day. My skin was so much brighter. My skin was so dull and dehydrated from like traveling so much. And I was like, I need to like, I need to plump her up. I need to be brighter. And oh my gosh. This is crazy. This was $25 pack on Amazon 
and it's insane like I will repeatedly get this again and again and I, I still want to look for like a good retinol like something that's affordable and good ingredients but like you know has that aesthetic but like that's not the most important thing to me and going off of that so going off of that this is the first thing that I used from the brand I got this at Ulta a few months ago if you go back if you're a watcher of my vlogs then you'll know I was obsessed like I've been obsessed with this this is uh, I do care cake my day hydrating sprinkle wash off mask when you put this on this smells like you're eating cake It smells like you're eating a vanilla Like wonderful cake obviously you're not eating it But just smells like it and it left my skin so hydrated and dewy and it just felt amazing It's also a little exfoliating because of there's like little sprinkles It doesn't smell like cake right when you like open it and smell it. It's like when you put it on your face Okay, so moving on to beauty I don't know if you know this, but I do my own nails. I have so much fun doing my own gel nails. I have my own little kit and everything. And I recently got nail stickers because I was like, I want to get fun with it. Like, why can't I have fun with like, you know, little stickers instead of like going to the salon and paying $90, I'll get these like $5 nail stickers so this this is what my nails look like now so the bow stickers that I'm currently wearing I got off Amazon and it was like a pack of like five or six for under five dollars so I checked those out and I love them there's like different kind of bows and flowers and everything and then I also got all of these nail stickers for so inexpensive we got flowers we got strawberries we got hearts avocados we got it all like I love these nails so much they're so cute and so affordable and you like cannot go wrong with them so cute my next beauty favorite are hair clips I've been really into hair clips lately I've been wearing these flower ones in my hair I'll just like pin it back and it just like gives you kind of like a new look and I love these so much so my mom actually found these in the checkout line in Marshall's and she just picked them up for me. She's like, these are so you. And I love them. And I've been like wearing them. I like have the others like somewhere around the house. But I love them so much. So like if you're looking to like change up your hair. But you aren't really good at doing your hair. Just add like a little clip. And you'll feel so put together. And so cute. And so girly. This is a little different. And I've showed these in my vlogs before. But I recently ordered these like cute little patches from... This random Instagram account that I follow, she's a sweet lady that lives in Ireland and she makes these occasionally and she sells them. And I was like, I'm so obsessed with Love Shack Fancy. I have Love Shack Fancy fever. It's no, it's no secret. So Love Shack Fancy will make these like vintage t-shirts and put like little uh, patches on them and sell them for like $200. And I was like, I can make that for like under $20. So I order these adorable patches. This lady handmade them. I'll link her Instagram down below. So like they're literally just handmade. So what I want to do is I want to either thrift or find like a t-shirt or sweatshirt or something and either sew them on or there are um, like fabric glues that you can use. So I want to do that and that will just like be so cute and such a fun DIY. My next fashion favorite is a staple of mine now. I got this from Shein a couple weeks ago and I adore it. It goes with everything. So this cardigan is like not just a typical cardigan. It has like a cute cute little like flare out. So it's a little like ruffly and dainty and the sleeves are so cute. This is like lightweight but still enough to like keep you um, warm. So for example, I wore like this dress and then when I went out to dinner and then the AC was super cold, I just put this on and it just like had another look it was just like it tied everything together and it looks so cute because you know how sometimes cardigans can be like too long or too like uh chunky this was the perfect cardigan and it literally goes with everything it's girly it's dainty and i love her and she was very affordable my next fashion favorite is from airy i got this matching set this was so comfy to wear on the plane ride i wore this all the way to costa rica so cute very shabby chic very love shack fancy and then i got the matching sweatshirt this was just so cozy and it kept me so warm on the airplane if you ever travel always make sure that you have a sweatshirt on you because plane rides are usually for reason i was traveling in style but i was still so cozy and comfy so i love this so much airy is i love airy i love that brand so much i found the most amazing love shack fancy dupe look 
at these shoes. These shoes are exactly a Love Shack Fancy pattern. I don't know how this is legal. It's not even Love Shack Fancy, but they definitely have this pattern. This is from Madden Girl. I found these randomly on Amazon. Amazon is my pride and joy. But I love these shoes. They are so comfy. They're beautiful, simple, but still adds like a little bit to your outfit. You know what I mean? But oh my gosh, like I can't get over how this is literally a Love Shack Fancy shoe. <laughs> And then last but not least is what I'm wearing. This is a Love Shack Fancy dress that I found off eBay. Cry actually sent this to me and I was like, girlfriend, I need this. I got it for, I think, 150 bucks. Usually these dresses range from like two to like 500. So I was like, that's a steal. I'm obsessed with this dress. I feel like a pink cupcake flower princess in the most amazing way possible i love it so much it's so comfy it ties up here so then you can like add the bows it's tight here so you don't gotta wear a bra that's going to wrap up today's video thank you so much for watching i love you be sweet love yourself and you will have it all bye